What is up, web slingers, guardians, and defenders? Back with another haul today. Um, this is actually kind of a mega haul. Um, I think I've got somewhere around 50 books to show, and they're from two different places. <clears throat> First, I went back to the guy, my local guy, that I was tipped off about. Went in, and the gentleman that was selling the comics, um, was putting more in so spent about an hour looking through those and then went and um you can come in my wife's gonna be in frame for a second but anyways we went in and um he was putting them in and still was yet to finish okay you are you using yeah you okay so Sorry about that. Um, anyways, uh, the guy was putting some more in. And then the other one, I went back to Edward McKay and um, picked up, got, bought, however you want to say it, uh, some more uh, from there. Uh, I don't know if they're constantly putting stuff in, but I did find some stuff that I have not found before. So, who knows? Maybe it's just that I'm looking over stuff, and then I go back and I'm like, ooh, I found some more. So, anyways... Um, we have number one, the first one I'm going to show you. These are in no particular order, but um, I'll tell you how much I paid for these when I get to them. Um, the first few I paid a dollar a piece for. So um, this is X Force number four. This is the one that's a sideways cover that has Wolfsbane, Cable, Domino, and Spider Man on it. Then I've got Marvel Milestone. This is my second copy of this. I picked this up from the guy that was selling for a dollar. This is uh, the Milestone Amazing Spider-Man number 29, or 129, first appearance of the Punisher. Then I've got X-Force number 23. This is Domino and Deadpool on the front. Okay. Um, then I picked up the Infinity War, number four. Uh, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. This is by Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. That is a dangerous duo. This is number one. Love the cover of it. It's got that metallic um, Daredevil silhouette. And then Matt Murdock holding his father. <clears throat> I've got The Invaders, number one. And these are all coming from the same guy. They were a dollar a piece. Uh, Cable, number one. Uh, Punisher War Zone. Still in the poly bag with a character trading card inside, number one. This was an oddball that I found there. Um, I, I really, it's in bad shape, but this was a 25 cent comic. This is Superboy number 177. It's really rough shape, but I got it. I figured for a dollar for a Silver Age. I guess this is a Silver Age. I didn't look at the date inside, um, but a dollar for that was pretty good buy. <clears throat> US Agent, number one. This is another oddball, but I really thought this was cool. This is adapted from the cartoon series, so this is Captain Planet. Number one, uh, Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Um, I used to think this this uh, this group was hilarious because you had all these cool powers like earth, wind, water, and then fire. And then you had, uh, I think his name was Kwame, that had a heart. And I, was, I always joked about if I was one of the Planeteers, 
and I got stuck with heart, I would feel like I got the short end of the stick. So <laughs> I think think that's uh, think the planeteers are funny. Um, I've been finding a lot of these lately. These are first print early runs of Spawn. So I'm trying to pick them up. Now I think I've got one through four. Then I've got six, seven, eight, and ten. So I'm missing five and nine. So I'm on the lookout for those. But I almost have the whole first uh, ten comics of Spawn. Then this is uh, Ghost Rider. This is um, the 64-page annual, number one. Still in a poly bag. <clears throat> then I've got Rise of the Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider, and Blaze. This is number one, still in a poly bag. The first solo series. Um, this is a limited series of... Scarlet Witch, number one. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number nine. And I think this is uh, the first appearance of Replica. I'm pretty sure that this is Replica's first appearance. This next one I'm super excited about. Um, I found this in really good shape. There's one little nick and tick on the bottom, and there may be one little spine tick, but the colors were really good, and I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, this is a, this is a really nice book to have, but uh, this is Power Pack number one. Then I've got What If Silver Surfer Possessed the Infinity Gauntlet. This is What If, number 49. Again, these are all a dollar. Uh, the, War <coughs> the Warlock Chronicles, number one, with its gimmicky 90s. Um, I call it wrapping paper style cover because it looks like those wrapping papers that you buy from uh, like elementary schools for, for Christmas. Um, the Infinity War number six. This is with Magus on the front and the Infinity Gauntlet. War Machine number one with the black and metallic cover. Um, really good shape. There are a couple little dings on the top and bottom as far as the, the very edge of the comic goes. But um, looks really nice. Still very presentable. <coughs> ghost image image versions ghost and this is number one this one I picked up because I thought it was a hilarious cover this is by Ramita um, I'm not sure if this is Ramita Jr. or Ramita Sr. I'm, I'm leaning more towards uh, Sr. but this was a 91 comic. Um, this is What If, number 34. And this is What If No One Was Watching the Watcher. And this has got the Watcher on it in the Marilyn Monroe pose. Um, I don't know what tickled me so much about this cover. But I had to have it because I thought it was hilarious. And even still to this point, I'm laughing at the, the cover. <clears throat> Then we've got uh, DC Universe, The End of the Day. This is Zero Hour Crisis in Time, number zero, with the white cover. Um, the cover is still very white. They're not very, I mean, it's not flawed at all. It shows a little bit of dirt along the, the spine of the, the cover, but I think with maybe just a little bit of cleaning, um, it'd be a very nice book to have graded <clears throat> then I got Thunderstrike number one not much to say there early 90s comic very gimmicky when they were trying to redo a lot of the the Marvel line like with uh, um, Spider-Man 2099 Punisher 2099 Ghost Rider X-Men Doom Hulk um, 
Thunderstrike was one of those guys. So then I've got Warlock in the Infinity Watch, um, number nine. The funny thing about this comic is um, I, picked, I got this and I was showing my wife and my daughter and I was like, you know who that is? And they're like, yeah, that's Thanos. And I said, do you know who that is? And they're like, yeah, that's Galactus. And then I said, do you know who it is in the middle? And neither one of them are like, or both of them are like, mm, no, they don't look familiar. And I was having to tell them that that's the way Gamora looks in the comic book. And they're like, no way. She doesn't look anything like she does in the movie. So um, it was really cool to get to explain that to them um, and how, you know, Gamora looked. Um, okay, so these next comics that I have, these all came from Edward McKay. They were, um, the most expensive was $1.50. The others were $0.20 cents and $0.90 cents a piece. So um, all of these I picked up from there. So this is Death Clock, or not Death Clock. I'm thinking Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. And this has got a sorry bag and board on it, but um, I haven't had a chance to change this change this yet so this is death lot number one then I've got the Hanna-Barbera and DC crossover variant cover this is my second one of this but I love this cover of Aquaman and Jabberjaw then I found Black Canary, number one. I think this is the 2015 run. Love that cover. Then, uh, before the Watchmen, this is, um, Silt Spectre, number one. This is the Amanda Connor variant. Then I've got Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, number one, from Rebirth. Then Infinity War, number one. This is a variant cover by <clears throat> um, George Perez. Wow, took me a second. Yeah, this is a George Perez variant cover with Thanos on the front of it. Um, this one I'm not going to show. This is one I picked up for my nephew. Um, these were like a quarter a piece, but... Power Rangers. He's really into Power Rangers, so I got him a couple of Power Rangers comics. Then Batman 66, number three. I have the number one issue of this. This is in my long box, but I have the number one issue of Batman 66 signed by Kevin Smith. Uh, Green Lanterns. Uh, this is Family Matters, part one, uh, issue number seven. Then I've got Predator, number one. This is the Dark Horse Predator. I think from 89. Yeah, 1989. This is 1989, first printing. Um, sorry, some of my stuff's about to turn over. Uh, then I have Captain America, number 323. Uh, this is the anniversary, 25th anniversary issue. Um, pretty nice copy of it, except for one major flaw. And it's this little stain right here on the A. And I did not see that when I bought it. I got it home, rebagged and boarded it. And when I was putting it in the bag, I was like, what in the heck is that little bitty black smudge? looks like it's a watermark I think like a, a water stain but it almost looks like somebody was painting watercolors um, or painting with watercolors and it may have dripped on it I don't know but kind of upset about that one <clears throat> then I got a few different Iron Man's for uh, they had a small Iron Man run um, picked up the ones that I didn't have this is Iron Man 296, 298, and 299. 
I like this one with Modoc on the front of it. And then the last one, this comic I paid two dollars $2 for. And um, I, I know it's not in good condition, but I really like this one. Um, this is Marvel Tales number 67. And this is Black Widow. Uh, or Spider-Man and Black Widow. And if I'm not mistaken, and if I am, you can tell me below. Um, don't have a witch hunt because I'm not sure. I'm going out on a limb here. But I believe this is the first time we see Black Widow in her all-black costume. Um, like you would see her in the Avengers movies today. I think this is it. I think this is the appearance. I'm not sure, but pretty, pretty sure. But anyways, for $2, I picked it up. I bought it because I was like, what kind of person will just leave this sitting for $2? Um, so, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, again, it is not in the greatest condition. You've got a little hunk out of it right up here in the top corner. Um, this will not be one that I send to get graded ever. Um, just because some of it's faded. Uh, and you've got some of the tears in it. And... I would probably more likely just use this one as a reader copy. But um, anyways, that was my kind of like mega haul for the weekend. Um, I finally have set up a date to go and get the comics from my friend. Um, so that should be happening this coming weekend. And <clears throat> if, uh, if nothing else, uh, I have this week coming in one mystery box and I've got one single eBay purchase that I ordered. Um, so, lots to look forward to. Um, trying to find some other places. I'm check, checking around uh, to find some other kind of fishing or hunting holes uh, to, to kind of, you know, pick up and see what I can find. Um, not many people around my area collect comics, and if they do, um, they are very quiet about it. Um, I did run into two guys while I was at this, the local guy looking, um, and they are like, yeah, we collect, but we only collect Fantastic Four. And I was like, oh yeah, do you collect the newer ones? Do you collect the old ones? They're like, ah, we don't really care as long as it's Fantastic Four. So I was asking about what their oldest one they had, and they were like, it's like a 150, something like that. I was like, okay. So, anyways, um, these were, they looked like they might have been brothers that lived together, but um, they were pretty cool. We stood and talked for a few minutes, and um, the guy that owns the shop that we were in was kind of circling us, so we um, we just kind of went our separate ways. But, uh, anyways, if uh, if you live in the, in the area that I live in, I live in the Greensboro area. I know I've been to Acme Comics, Edward, Edward McKay, stuff like that. But if you know of any other places that, um, and you're watching this, that sell comics uh, in the areas, antique stores, thrift stores, um, flea markets, whatever, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. See what uh, see what you what you guys might know. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Be a blessing to somebody today. But most of all, I hope you're blessed. Um, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. What was your favorite comic book that I picked up this haul? Um, I feel like I've picked up, uh, I've gotten enough comics in the last month to fill up two short boxes. And my wife is slowly starting to go, um, where are we going to put all these? So uh, maybe I'll have a favorite books that I own video coming up soon. But uh, what was your favorite? Who knows? So, I uh, hope you all have a great rest of the day. It is Sunday. Hope you have a great week, rest of the weekend, a relaxed one. I also hope you have a great week up ahead. Um, stay tuned. Turn, tune into the same bat channel at the same random bat time. Um, God bless.